what up Mustang gang today we are going to check out the free car that ultimate driving has to offer in honor of reaching 1.3 million favorites on the game without further ado let's check out because this car is about to be awesome it's a banger all right let's go ahead and into the dealership and we'll get to show you where this new free car is so as you can see over here, we got the Ford Mustang from 2014. On fixed no terms, you will put that down to the Dearborn Stallion. If you can scroll down and go over there. But anyhow, you can see that this is a bad boy Mustang. It is a beast. And look at that over there. It has those awesome taillights. You know, I'm looking forward to drive this thing and review it. It has all those details as well, which I'll go into more detail when we go into the looks. But dang, this Mustang is looking very gnarly. So we are going to go ahead and buy it, of course. Before I do that, we're just going to go over the stats. So the top speed is 185 miles per hour, 0 to 16, 4.6 seconds, 608 credits per mile, a real real drivetrain like all Mustangs, and of course it's free for a limited time. If you want the bad boy muscle car experience, be sure to get this car while it's available until 11.59pm Eastern Standard Time on September 24, 2021. One minute before the beginning of September 25th. So be sure to get this while you can. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and claim this bad boy muscle car, of course. It's always selling them exploration points. Let's go ahead and claim the vehicle. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the looks. And as you can see, this car looks very smexy. I'm serious, it looks so good. Just look at that paint job that is done on the mustang and this was not really custom built i left everything at two reflectants as it comes with the car and you saw that nighttime reflection there now it's going to day but still just look how good it looks as those fenders are over there and those tail lights oh, they just hit the spot those rectangles just leave the sporiness of an icon on the 2013 to 2014 Mustangs. And the reflections just looks even better. And then, of course, you got other sporty details like the wings. And then, if you read the wheels as they are, it's sporty as well. Well, you can see that the front wheels are not really fully loaded in but the back ones are and yeah this car just looks so good and of course I had to tint the windows and then we cannot forget the hood that has the holes in it for aerodynamics and just the embroidery on the grill and headlights too yeah I just love the looks of this car and just the overall car in general because you know how much I love my Mustangs. But we're going to go ahead and take a look of the interior. And as you can see, they did a very good job of the detail on the interior. It has those Mustang details that we all want. And it looks like that the 2014 Ford Mustang in Ultimate Driving comes with a manual transmission. As you can see over there. It's very interesting for a car. It has, you know, your screen as you could use for a GPS, a navigation system. It has those realistic vents, a steering wheel. Even though you don't see like the full on symbols of it, which I could, you know, understand why for performance in ultimate driving, it still has a lot of detail to it. You can see the handles, you know, seat belt attachments, the seats, and all our cup holders and all that, the center console, 
storage compartments, everything. It just looks good in the interior and has what a Mustang should have. And there we go, more box. And games in general. But here is the back. You know, just has cargo space over there. This thing only has two seats. So don't really expect to do any family sort of role plays because you only get a driver and one passenger in the car. But anyways, let's move on to the headlights, turn signals, and reverse lights. You notice that on the turn signals, it has two of the red squares blinking for the outer lights. Well, the inner modes and the outer modes. The one in the middle still has the white lights in there for the reverse lights. It basically just blinks because this is a 2014 Mustang. Personally, I like the turn signals on the 2013 Ford Mustang better in this generation because they actually have the cool blue little pattern that you know goes across throughout all the rectangles. I'm sure most of you are familiar with Ford Mustang turn signals in general. But yeah, it's just in the 2014 Mustang it has just those squares blinking. But still in all the overall design it looks very gnarly. Can't complain. Now let's move on to the actual performance of this vehicle. So we are going to go ahead and test out the performance, starting with the acceleration from 0 to 100 and full speed in 3, 2, 1, go. So from 0 to 100, it's about 9.5 seconds, and then it takes longer to get to full speed. It takes about 24 seconds to get from 0 to top speed, but regardless, you know, it's still fun to drive around. It is, you know, it seems like on the last year, the acceleration is slow. And perhaps it's the same way with the fifth gear as well. But now, we are going to go ahead and test out the braking on this monster. And the braking is pretty good on the Mustang from 2014. Now we are going to test out the handling at the next turn. And the handling is pretty impressive on the Mustang. Does a good job with that. And of course, we cannot forget the drifting as this thing earns 350 XP per mile. So let's go ahead and do a little drift. So this thing is not the best at drifting, but it can still do the job. I kind of just have to do some practice with it. Like it, it takes a while to respond with drifting. And you know what I mean. But we definitely know for sure that this thing is great at doing burnouts. And we definitely know that this beast is great at doing burnouts. You can see over here. Just have to press B and have to just you know do your 
your terms and just like let go once you're ready to do your donuts. But yeah, this is honestly just a great car to drive. And I'm about to tell you my personal thoughts. So overall, this car is fun to drive, like I just said. For grinding, it's excellent. Despite having not the best acceleration, you're still getting a good deal with the credits. Because when you start out in ultimate driving as a noob, you're only going to get about 400 credits with the Pontiac V8 and the Four Crown Victoria as a starter card. But while this is available, it earns you 608 credits. And if you have boost on it, it makes the acceleration even better. As you can see, it just makes the process go by faster. It's 210 for advanced, and it's probably around 200 somewhere for basic. So as long as you have boost on the 2014 Ford Mustang, then you'll be on a pretty good grinding experience with this car. And you can even just get basic boost for 10,000 credits, as mentioned earlier. Now for role playing, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with the 2014 Ford Mustang. Of course you can bring it to car shows, do burnouts, you know, sports car role plays, just you know, cool sports car convoys. It's a muscle car. You know, you can do so many things with it. The only thing that you can't really do about role playing is bring families. And well, this is a two-seater, so you can't really fit people on the back seats, unlike in real life where you can fit smaller people on the back two seats. But, you know, it's definitely friendly for bringing a friend along if you want to cruise around. And for racing, this is alright. You know, for acceleration or doing it in a straight line, you get a pretty good experience with it using a Mustang. Now as for racing around in turns, it's decent at it. Not sure if it'll be the most ideal, but I think it definitely works out. If you want to go ahead and go in all sorts of turns, since the handling on it is pretty good anyways. In conclusion, buy this car while it's available, because you could do many cool things with it. And in some ways, it's a good daily driver. In others, you know, it has its own little pros and cons. But you earn very good cash for your buck compared to the other star cars that are always around in ultimate driving. And you can use that 608 credits per mile to really boost you up into buying better cars as you grind your way through. Anyways, that's going to be it for the video right there. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash the like button. Comment your thoughts below about my review on the new 2014 Ford Mustang that is available for free until September 24 at 11.59pm. Get this thing while it lasts. Feel free to join my Discord server located in the description. And be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications as I like to upload ultimate driving content. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.